Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here today at Mainland Tropical Fish Farm in Singapore and we're gonna be taking a look at some really cool fish. There's a whole bunch of ponds here um, from koi, turtles, to arapaimas, pakus, and there's a whole lot more. So let's go and take a look, at, a, a closer look at all these fish here. All right, so this is what it looks like when you come in. Today we'll be taking a look more on this side. Um, I'm not so sure what's over here. I see a whole bunch of ponds, but they're mostly empty. Some of them have water in it, but I don't see any fish. And there are two large ponds over there, but I'm not so sure what that's all about. So let's go and start over here and uh, check it out. So on the left side, you can see a whole bunch of koi, some butterfly koi. Look at how long those fins are. And there are some more over here. So I think this whole section is all koi, we'll take a closer look later, but over on this side it might be a little bit loud, um, there's more koi, some different colors of course, some white ones here, as well as some black ones, it's kind of hard to see them, there are a bunch of little ones in this pond as well. And is that an African cichlid right there? That looks like an African cichlid. Now you can have a better look at all those little fish. I'm not so sure what they are actually. If you know what those little black fish are, definitely comment down below. I'm not so sure what they are. They might be African cichlid, I'm not too sure. There are a few more koi over here, some larger size ones. And I assure you, later on in the video, you'll see much more beautiful koi. Um, and then here, there's a couple more in the back. I think I scared them off a little earlier. I like this plant here. And what else is there? This one looks empty. I'm sorry if it's a little loud. And you can see, are those tinfoil barbs? Those look like tinfoil barbs. Albino tinfoil barbs. And you can see there are some chickens over there. Look at these chickens. What on earth is this? What on earth is this, guys? I've, is that a turkey? Shoot, I have no idea. I've never seen anything like that before. Just kind of gave me a little heart attack, scared me for a minute. Never seen anything like this. Look at this. Is this a Midas cichlid, the orange guy? I see a few electric blue African cichlids here too. Hard to see on camera, but there you go. You can see a little bit of them there. But look at that Midas cichlid. And next door, a few nice looking koi. More koi over here. So yeah, this whole section here is all koi. I think that section as well. One of my favorite fish. Wow! Did you see that? That guy just jumped. That was crazy. I'm not sure if I got that on camera. But yeah, let's go over to the next section. Alright, now over here... Look at these. Are these... Um, Midas cichlid as well? I'm not too sure. Over here, you have a whole bunch of them. With some turtles. Red ear terrapins, red ear sliders, whatever you call them. And there's an Oscar there as well. Look at that Oscar right there. That's cool looking. And this is a pretty nice looking setup.
And then here there's a whole bunch of koi and I love how they all come to you. All begging for food. Look, there's none over there and they all gather up over here. These are some larger ones. Whoa! It's crazy. They look hungry. Yeah, these koi are really active here. Alright, and then over here, I'm not so sure what this whole setup is. Just looks like plants in a huge DIY pond or something. There's a bunch of little fish in here that are black in color. There's one right there. But it's, it's hard to focus on them and they look like rice fish but I'm not too sure. And now over here, we get to the larger fish. Um, so in this pond, what? oh my goodness, look at these. Albino pakus, and these guys are super thick. But this is not the biggest there is. There's some silver arowana swimming there. Let's zoom in on those. There you go, check that out. And there's some red-tailed catfish. It's kind of hard to see them. But um, you'll get to see bigger ones just over there. And over here, there are a few more silver arowana. Really beautiful looking fish. And there's a red-tailed gurami over there, a giant gurami. Not that big yet though. And now we get to the massive monster fish pond. And check that out, right away you see a huge red-tailed catfish. That's really amazing, and now you can see a few more gathered up right there. And look, there's another one there as well. And there's another type of catfish in here, right there. And I'm not so sure what the name of that is, so if you know, comment down below. I'll get a few more clips of them. There's a whole bunch of them in here, and there's a bunch of little fish as well, you can see here. I think those are baby mita cichlids. Alright, let's look for that arapaima. It's somewhere in here. I saw a glimpse of it off camera earlier. Came up for a breath of air. Check this out. There's a little archer fish right there. In just a moment, I'm gonna go and get some food to feed these guys. Hopefully we'll see the arapaima come up. Um, there's a few of them in there hiding right now. Look at that red-tailed catfish right there. That is so beautiful. Look at that cock. Oh my goodness, this is it right here. It just popped out of nowhere. That is the Arapaima. That is crazy. Look at how big this thing is. Where'd it go? See, it just disappears like that. You can see its back is sticking out of the water right there like a snake. That is truly amazing. Alright, we gotta get some food for this thing. Right now. I couldn't wait guys. I've got the food right here in a little bucket. I said I was gonna do this later, but um... I wanted to show you guys the whole place first, all the other ponds, but I've got to do the arapaima food first. Oh my goodness, look, it's right here. It's waiting for the food. Alright, let's see. Let's, let's try a piece of this. This is fish. Let's try one at a time. Look, you can see. Oh, here's the face. Look at this. Ready? I'm not so sure if you can see it. It just missed it. Haku.
And the Arapaima is back. Check that out. Okay. Wow. Look at the archer fish just swimming there. He's so small compared to all the other fish. Here it is again. It's come back. Okay. Gotta feed it this time. Properly. Did you see that? This time he got it. The Arapaima is back one last time for the last remainder. I'm just gonna dump it all in. Whoa! That was crazy, man. That was crazy. And it's gone just like that. So that right there is the pond that we were just feeding and there was one huge arapaima in there. And this pond over here has another two arapaima. You can see their faces right here next to each other. Yeah, but these ones aren't as big as the ones we saw just now and there's a silver arrow on a right there. Really cool. A few more red-tailed catfish but these ones are smaller. So this is like a smaller monster fish pond compared to the one over there. And then you can see a few albino pakus in there. I expected the arapaimas to be much more aggressive, but um, they're actually pretty gentle until the very end. Uh, but here's a few really nice looking koi. I love the colors on these. Really bright and vibrant. Um, there are a few more fish to take a look at over here. Over there there's a cylinder tank, a round tank with a few knife fish and here's a nice little pond really nice little setup here and then what's over here? I'm not so sure, I can't see any fish in here right now but at the back you can see a few tanks over there I think when I came here in the past there were a few Asian arowanas in each of these ponds Oh yeah, there's the there's red arowana right there. Check out how bright that is. That is beautiful. There's a few of them back there. And here as well. They're all coming now. Look at that. Asian arowanas. Beautiful fish. Albino tinfoil barbs as well as normal tinfoil barbs. Here are some normal ones. Pretty good size. Quite big actually. Here you have a mixed variety of fish. Red-tailed catfish, a little one. Compared to the ones we saw in the pond. Is that a barramundi? I think that's a barramundi right there. Quite big. Some Midas cichlids. Um, a northern Thailand tiger fish right there. You can see the three little three thin stripes, a few more tiger datnoids there, you can see the driftwood is floating. Uh, what else? Over on this side, I'm not so sure what this fish is. They kind of look like masseers. And here you can see some some more tiger datnoids. These are the Indonesian tiger datnoids. Uh, Paku right there. That is awesome. There's a gar in here as well. This might be a spotted gar. And here you can see some flagtail prochilotus fish um, or the feifeng. That's what they call it here. All right, now let's take a look at the back. What are all these? These fish are tiny. Oh, they look like little flower horns. Oh no, they're not flower horns. 
I have no idea what they are actually. If you know, definitely comment down below. What are these fish? Alright, let's move on outside. Yes, there's an outside section over here. You can see a few tubs um, with a bunch of floating plants in here. And I think these are just mainly platies. I saw a few platies over here. Yeah, take a look at that. Really nice looking platies. Look at how many little platies there are. Looks really nice. Reminds me of my rice fish pond in Japan. And what's really cool is that there's no filtration. There's no air stone, no air w or whatever. It's just plants, um, just some substrate, which I see are leaves, fallen leaves and mulm. And that's all for all of these. And the fish do really well. They breed, you can see a bunch of babies in there. So it's really cool. I bet you could do those, do that with guppies as well. And here's a weird looking tank. I think it's made of fiberglass and there's a bunch of snakehead in there. I don't want to get too close because they are kind of skittish. And then over here, there's a large cylindrical tank with a whole bunch of more snakeheads. You can see a little pleco right here. Not that little actually, but look at that. And it's hard to focus in on this because the water is really green because this tank is in the direct sunlight. All right, let's take a look at some of the tanks here. I'm not so sure what this fish is, but I really like the black stripe on them. Really nice looking. Here's some Oscars, really large, not really large, but pretty large, bigger than my hand. Um, tiger Oscars, albino Oscars. There's a red tail giant gourami. Some African cycl cichlids. And then on this side, what do you have? Some flag tail protolotus. You can see my crocs in there. Uh, peacock bass. There's a lot of algae on the glass, so I can't really focus in on them, but you can see they are peacock bass. Down here, this tank is pretty clean. A bunch of Lake Malawi cichlids, African cichlids, and this looks like some kind of barb. I can't recall the name of it, but it's got that black spot. I like that. And look at that, what is this one? Nice. And down here, you have a bunch of this catfish. A ton of them in there. Some more African cichlids. Some platies up here. You can see such a huge tank, but only a few platies in there. Uh, what's this? I'm not so sure. They look like tarpons. I think these are tarpons. Atlantic tarpons. This looks like some kind of carp. There's a whole bunch of them. And I remember when I came here a few years ago, there were bigger tarpons, like much bigger than my hand-sized tarpons. Here's a few more of that barb, really beautiful looking. And tinfoil barbs as well as this yellow and black striped fish which I can't seem to remember the name of. Every time someone tells me I keep forgetting. And uh, oh, I almost fell there. Some catfish, ir irwini. Irwini catfish or something like that? Irwin's catfish? I have no idea. No clue at all. I think they're also called the Raphael catfish. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button if you're new to this channel so that you don't miss these weekly videos. And I will see you next time.